And Juliet, you got a chance to uh, enjoy some waves before work today. That's a nice way to spend the morning. Oh, yeah, we've got video to prove it. You know, the biggest <laughs> week for surfers at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront is right now the Coastal Edge East Coast Surfing Championships presented by Vans. And the competition has been going on all week long with qualifying heats. You see me wearing that green jersey. That means they let me go out there during the heats to see what it's Whoa. like oh, that's cool. to compete. Yeah. And we yeah. actually have a camera on the front of the surfboard there. You see me fighting through through the way. Speaking of terrific women athletes, yeah. Mimi Monroe, legendary. She took me out surfing today. She's going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame tonight wow. for the ECSC. Cool. And so she's actually going to push me through some waves. We're working on a couple of really great stories with the folks at ECSC, and we're going to show those to you on Friday here on News Channel 3. The Beach. And this week at the Oceanfront, surfers grab their boards and headed out for the East Coast Surfing Championship. And News Channel 3's Juliet Bigford also headed to the beach to catch some waves. Surfers on the water, 30 seconds. It's the moment surfers have been waiting for all summer. The Coastal Edge East Coast Surfing Championships presented by Vans. And News Channel 3 got a chance to get a behind the scenes look at the big competition. But right here, center stage, yeah, that's right, you have Miss Juliet Vickford. She's out there on the green, uh, in the green uh, jersey next to Mimi Monroe in the black and Greg from Christian Surfers. That's right, I hit the water to see what it's like to compete with the real surfers. Women's surfing legend and Hall of Famer Mimi Monroe showed me how it's done. That's Mimi Monroe right there, folks. Mimi Monroe. And Greg from Christian Surfers had my back, too. But I also had some other coaching from the judges' booth. Here she is! Oh! It's a nice try. Nice try! That six-year-old surfer, Indiana, giving me some pointers. Hey, Juliet, just relax. Oh, there she is! She must have taken your advice. How about that, Indiana? Yay. Say, way to go, Juliet. Way to go, Juliet. Oh, way to go, Juliet. But the next wave wasn't so nice to me. I'm okay, but after almost an hour in the water, I just might have a future in the sport. Oh yeah, she had a great time. She's got the spirit to keep, you know, to, to work hard. So that's 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 what it takes. Now to hear from the judges booth. You did real well. In fact, that wave that you caught, we all clapped. Could you hear us? I could. I, I was I was very excited, and uh, I was just hoping I got some style points or maybe smile points. Style and smile points. And I can count on Indiana for her support. Great job. It was a great job. The East Coast Surfing Championships. It's a huge event at the oceanfront each and every year, and it's going on this week. But what you may not realize is it's about a lot more than just surfing. And 13 News Chaser Jason Walsh is live at the oceanfront with some of the other folks who are competing in various events. And you can watch them all do it for free. Hey, Jason. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We got some young guns from the uh, Coastal Edge skate team on the half pipe out here. But I wanted to talk to some of the guys here. Good morning, guys. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, how's it going? All right. And I'm here with Dee from Coastal Edge. Dee, tell us a little bit about you. I mean, it's been all week long, and then this weekend, you got a lot of great stuff going on. Well, we're really excited that the uh, guys from Vans and uh, 40 other companies from California are here to uh, celebrate the industry of skate and surf. And so we look forward to uh, bringing everybody out here and uh, uh, having a Fox FMX uh, motocross and then the uh, 66 team from Vans Very doing cool. their BMX. All right, and you guys are with the uh, with the BMX guys. What is it like out coming out to this event and riding on these ramps? Uh, it's such an honor just to be out here with like we're out here sun sand. Man, 66, ECSC, like, we're just cruising. It's nice. Very cool. And I'm here with Sergio Ventura, Virginia Beach skateboard legend. Tell us about coming out here and doing this event. Oh, man, it was just a pleasure. You know, just like the BMX guys, they have been in competition, and we just came down here from uh, Ocean City. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the 50th anniversary. It's a big celebration. Uh, Coast Ledge and Vans. Um, glad to be here. All right, thanks, Sergio. In the next hour, guys, we're going to see some guys from the motocross team. But for now, live in Virginia Beach, it's Jason Walsh, 13 News. Whoa, pulled a hamstring just watching them. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's going to be an awesome weekend. It is going to be an awesome weekend. We Surfs up at the oceanfront. The East Coast Surfing Championships are underway. This event is huge. But what you may not realize, <clears throat> excuse me, is it's about a lot more than just surfing. 13 News chaser Jason Walsh is live at the oceanfront 
with some of the other folks gearing up to compete this weekend. Good morning to you, Jason. Good morning, guys. I'm out here at Third Street at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, and we're talking about the 50th Annual Coastal Edge East Coast Surfing Championship. If you look out in the water, there's already some surfers in the water, but I'm here with the Vans BMX team. Good morning, guys. And they're going to go ahead and hit the BMX course. Go ahead and hit it. So anyway, this is the biggest and longest East Coast Surf Tournament. Look at that air he got. And look, he's going over that. Wow. Do you see that, guys? But anyway, I'm going to come on over here to Peter Derricks with Vance. And tell us about some of the events that are going on this weekend. Well, you know, there's definitely there's a surf contest. Like you say, it's the longest run of surf contest in North America. There's BMX contest. There's vert and skate demos on the vert ramp. Uh, there's freestyle motocross. There's music at night. The action sports industry is here. You know, giving uh, good things uh, to all the kids, freaks, swag, things like that. So, uh, but then, again, music at night. So it's a great, great festival for the weekend, man. Very cool. And Dee's here from Coastal Legend. Dee, tell us a little bit about what's been going on this week up to this point. Oh, it's amazing. We're really fortunate to have all the uh, industry out here from the a action sports industry. And uh, as uh, Peter said, we've got music in the evenings. We've got all during the day BMX. We've got freestyle motocross. Um, we've got everything all on the backdrop of the longest running surf contest in North America. That's awesome. I'm here with Sergio Ventura. Now, Sergio was a famous Virginia Beach skate and now he's living out in California, but you came back for the con. Yes, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, I just came out here every year. Last year we were uh, got the weather was kind of bad, and uh, fortunate that this year we got the great weather. It's 50th anniversary. You know, like Peter Derrick says, we got a lot of the vendors out here, the industries out here support this uh, biggest East Coast uh, surf contest on the East Coast. Awesome. And you guys were skating the vert ramp, but it got a little bit of rain on it, so we had to kind of hold that. How much fun are you guys having out here? I always have a blast at Coastal Edge and Vans, ECSC, get to skate in front of my friends on the beach. That's the only opportunity I had to do that. Very cool. Okay, guys, go ahead and keep riding that. And again, the fun starts at 7 this morning with the surf contest, and it runs through Sunday night. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, look at that air. Jason Walsh, 13 News. Whoa. That's some good stuff out there, and they get some swag. That's cool, too. Well, the weather in Hampton Roads wasn't always great yesterday, but there was enough sunshine at the oceanfront for the East Coast Surfing Championships to go on. The folks from ECSC sent us this video from their fashion show. Virginia Beach high school students showed off the latest back-to-school fashions and threw in some dancing, skating, and gymnastics for a little fun. We've got more on the ECSC. What hasn't been said about the East Coast Surfing Championships is considered the benchmark of tournaments to be at when it comes to the sport. The ECSC celebrating 50 years as it winds down today at the oceanfront, the longest running event in North America. In recent years, they've also added skateboarders and BMX riders. It's going to be exciting. You guys should all come out for the vibe. It's going to be nuts. Um, I wouldn't miss this event for the world. My doctor told me not to come because my head's kind of foggy from a crash, crash like three weeks ago, but I wouldn't miss this event for the world, man. It's, uh, the, the vibe's great, and uh, it's, uh, it's rad. And, Sprint Cup drivers. and it's your last day to watch the East Coast Surfing Championships, as we like to call it the ECSC, and hopefully the weather will be nice today so you can head on down. The Vans Pro and Vans Junior advance to the semis. They'll finish up competition today in the biggest prize package that one surfer can take home, 25 grand. I talked to a couple of surfers who are in from Florida. They say it's a tournament you can't miss. I'm excited. I mean, obviously it's a really big deal for the East Coast. It's probably the biggest event we have, so it's pretty exciting to be here and competing against the best girls around here, so I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, I kind of compare it to the U.S. Open in California. It's kind of like our U.S. Open, I'd say, but like, for me, it's pretty exciting. I, even two years ago, it wasn't as big, so to be back and being competing on this level is pretty exciting. So. I've never been, and I thought it would be a good eye-opener because my friends always talk about how much fun they have, so I had to try it out myself. The final heats run all day, so if you want to see some good surfing, make your way down to Jetty as soon as you can. That's over at First Street along the oceanfront.